most of you must be familiar with the word cardinality so cardinality is the relationship between source and the associated tables or cds views or table functions or sql views okay included in the definition of the association so you have a form like minimum and maximum please note that this minimum and maximum applies only to the target table or to the target view or the to the target sql okay so this minimum and maximum is not like for one source there will be one um, target no this is applicable only for the target not for the source so cardinality is applicable only for the target so if, say if you have a cardinality of 0 to 1 that means for a particular source the number of entries in the target can be 0 or it can be 1. So if it is says cardinality 1 is to 1 that means for the association between the source and the target the target can have 1 um, rows or records. So so if it is written only 1 that means 0 to 1 then it's 1 to 1, 0 to many or 1 to many. So if nothing is spec specified it is 0 to 1. Why do we use cardinality? It is mainly used to document the semantics of the data model. So it is not validated at the runtime, but if we use it wrongly, it can produce syntax check warning. SFE says that specifying the cardinality after the keyword association is optional. If the cardinality is not explicitly defined, then the cardinality 0 to 1 is implicitly used by SAP internally. So, so if you don't provide the cardinality also, that is fine. SAP will treat it as 0 is to 1. Some of the rules regarding the usage of cardinality are that cardinality is optional, but if you don't use it, by default it is 0 dot dot 1 or it is cardinality is 1 that SAP takes internally. Default value for the minimum is 0. So if you don't specify anything if you specify only one that means default is zero if you specify like here three in between those um, brackets that means default is zero and maximum is three if default if you say only put like 10 in the square bracket that means default is minimum is zero and maximum is 10. another obvious rule is that the minimum cannot be star and the maximum cannot be zero Okay, so that is obvious. The minimum cannot be star. It can be star dot dot one or star dot dot zero. It, it can never happen. And the maximum can never be zero. So to summarize cardinality, we can say that in principle, a single data record of the source CDS view can be related to any number of data records of its association targets, depending on the specified on conditions of the association. The possible number of the corresponding data records specify the cardinality of an association. So how are we documenting the uh, association association cardinality? It is documented with the square bracket say 0 dot dot 1 or 0 dot dot star in which the lower and the upper limits describe the minimum and maximum number of data records of the association target. So it is saying that we can have for one source we can have this many uh, target records in that association. The next topic is what can we use as targets for the associations in CDS. So we can use another CDS view as the target. We can use another CDS table functions as the, as the target for the association. We can also use SQL views as the target and then we can also use database tables. Okay. So these, these are the four um, objects which can be used as targets while defining a association in a CDS. In the next slide, we'll talk about the different types of association that is exposed association and ad hoc association.